Now we are ready to install the sash again. Set it on the lower hinge pin. Wait, up, down, slowly, yep. And close the window. Hold it in place there. I need to lift it a little. And reinstall the upper hinge pin. And we can put the hinge caps back on at this point. The lower hinge cap you may want to leave off for fine tuning and adjustments. Next, we recommend you install the finish handle because it's much easier to uh, fine tune and adjust the window with the handle on. You'll either have our standard aluminum handle or our stainless steel handle. They both work the same, you just pull the cap back Note which position your window is in. This one is in turn mode, so we want to install the handle in the turn position. That's the horizontal position. And fasten it with the included screws. Now we are ready to adjust the window. First try and see how it works. This is the lock position, this is the turn position, and the tilt position. It often works very well out of the box, but most of the time, because this window has traveled across climate zones and across different humidities, there's some fine tuning necessary. In this case, you'll notice there's a slight resistance upon closing it. The window is fully 3D adjustable, you can move it sideways or up and down. The sideways motion is separate at the lower hinge and at the upper hinge. And the up and down motion is controlled by the lower hinge. Most of the adjustments are done with a six millimeter Allen wrench. Before you start adjusting, feel where the issue is and what you want to improve. In this case, the window sticks a little bit in the middle part here. So we have to move the sash frame over into this direction which means we will have to move it sideways both at the top and at the bottom hinge. The sideways adjustment in the hinge is found here at the bottom. Always do only two to three quarter turn adjustments prior to checking again where you are and how the window functions. So this made it better, but it's not perfect yet. So we'll go sideways at the top as well. The top sideways adjustment is on the sash side. So this window only needed sideway adjustment and now works very smoothly. Turn, tilt, and lock position. Some windows will need height adjustment. A typical, a typical point of friction you will find is that the window uh, seems to hang in this lower bottom corner, which you will be able to adjust by lifting the window in height higher up and moving it sideways at the top which both results combined in this corner coming up and in. The height adjustment you can easily reach with the Allen key again after you pull off uh, the cover cap from the top. Tightening the screw in here is going to lift the window, loosening it is going to lower the window. But this window is ready to go. When we're talking about the installation of fixed windows, we wouldn't be able to use the screws as shown because the screw heads would be visible on the inside. So instead, we use a, a supplied Z bracket by Zola as you see on this window. 
It's the same rough opening, it just is a fixed window, a Z bracket that is fastened into the frame from the side of the frame with two head screws about one and a quarter inch long. The other end of the bracket gets screwed into your rough opening bucket. Now note that because there's so many different wall assemblies, we will send oversized brackets and you will need to shorten them to your needs with a bolt cutter.